Next, a forceful and unexpected challenge to President Trump is coming from inside his cabinet. Attorney General William Barr says the president's social media habits make it, quote, impossible for him to do his job. In a new interview, the attorney general said the president should, quote, stop tweeting, end quote, about Justice Department cases. Barr's comments come a few days after he reversed his own prosecutor's request for a long prison term for Roger Stone, a longtime ally of the president. Democrats are demanding an investigation. Ben Tracy is at the White House for us. Uh, good morning, Ben. So Barr is clearly sending a message here. How are the president and other officials responding? Good morning. Well, it's pretty clear a lot of people here at the White House were caught off guard by Barr's extraordinary comments, but the White House claims President Trump himself is not bothered by this at all, and that he still has confidence in his attorney general. I cannot do my job here at the department uh, with a constant background commentary that, that undercuts me. The attorney general fires a warning shot, telling President Trump to stop attacking the Justice Department. To have public statements and tweets made about the department make it impossible uh, for me to do my job. Barr claims he never discussed the Roger Stone case with the White House and says he decided on his own to overrule prosecutors on the case before the president tweeted that their request of a seven to nine year sentence for Stone was very unfair and a miscarriage of justice. Once the tweet occurred, the question is, well, uh, now what do I do? And uh, do you go forward with what you think is the right decision or do you pull back because of the tweet? And that just sort of illustrates how disruptive these tweets can be. Barr rarely speaks out against Mr. Trump, who he's been criticized of protecting too much. But his comments come as he's facing a potential rebellion inside the Department of Justice. Barr got support from the Senate's top Republican. The attorney general says it's getting in the way of doing his job. Maybe the president should listen to the attorney general. And while others defended the president. He's not interfering. What he did was make a comment about uh, what he saw was wrong. And so there's no interference. President Trump is also taking hits from his former chief of staff, John Kelly, who this week publicly defended Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman, the national security staffer who raised concerns about President Trump's phone call with the president of Ukraine. He reported it to his boss. It's exactly what we teach them to do. He thought he heard an illegal order. The president fired back at Kelly on Twitter, saying that he misses the action and can't keep his mouth shut. But there is some good news for the president. Hope Hicks, one of the president's most loyal and trusted aides, is returning to the White House after leaving her job here as communications director nearly two years ago. This time, Hicks will be working with the president's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. She'll have the lofty title of counselor to the president. Jerika. All right, Ben. Thank you.